Hi, my name's Rick, and I'd like to welcome you today to the directcaster.com podcast, a podcast where we discuss all things with broadcasting and live streaming your videos uh, through devices such as Roku, through Android, through iOS, through Fire TV, and all kinds of other apps. Um, so today's going to be how to import those YouTube videos specifically into your Roku channel. Now, Roku can be just one of the platforms, as I mentioned, we have. We also have Fire TV and, and many other platforms, uh, all the standard ones. So let's take a look at that today and let's get into our presentation because doubtless, if you've been, um, if you've been podcasting for a while, you probably have a YouTube channel. And if you don't, no worries. Uh, but today we're just specifically going to show how to import those videos which you placed in your YouTube channel and you really don't want to do the work all over again of putting the videos on Roku or Fire TV. You don't want to have to type in all the descriptions again. You don't want to have to get all that data you have to get, your thumbnails and everything else. You just want to take what you have over on YouTube and import it. So you can do that, and today we're going to talk about how that is done. So without further ado, we're going to get right into today's uh, hands-on demonstration of how you do that in our software. So we brought up our demo channel here, our user suspect. Just before we get going, I'd ask you to please like and subscribe to the uh, content on this channel. Please subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. Also share our channel with anyone you think might be interested in creating their own Roku channel, their own Fire TV channel. They essentially want to take maybe the work that they've done, uh, possibly on YouTube, which has been placed on YouTube, and they want to extend that out to the other devices so that people can watch those. So let's get into our presentation today. Right now we're at our, uh, our menu in our software, which allows you to import both individual YouTube videos and allows you to also import uh, YouTube channel videos right here, importing YouTube channel videos. And what we're gonna really go over today is channel videos. I'm gonna go over briefly how you would import a standard YouTube video. So first of all, let's start off, just let's just take a look at that screen quickly. We're not going to do this one today. This is kind of simple, um, but I do want to, I will do want to tell you right now, if you have a URL of a YouTube video, you could put it in here. You can bring that up and then you can uh, go ahead and import the YouTube video in. Let's go into looking at importing videos though. Let's ever look into YouTube channel videos. Now this is where things usually get most useful for people. They might have a channel they already, they already use and they already are posting videos to YouTube. Many times those of you out there might have a channel you've been posting to YouTube for quite some time. And we want to make sure that all that effort was not in vain. That's why we created this tool to help you import those YouTube videos over to our software. So essentially what you do here is you would go ahead and first, you can see it's already been set up. We like to do this with our customers. We like to set up a channel, uh, at least one channel right away that you can look at and that you can start importing your YouTube videos from. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get those videos and there they are. So this is our channel in our case. So we're importing uh, videos that um, we've posted on our channel into this, into our demo project today. So we can see that the first video here already says already added. Okay. So we're going to know that that video is already added. So we're not going to bother to import that. Our software tends, tends to check if the video has been added or not added. So you don't reimport videos twice. Uh, the second one we see, uh, the one that's building a live stream Roku channel, that one hasn't been added yet. So we're going to go ahead and today we're going to do a little bit of work on adding that one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the add video link over to the side. And now what you can see is that everything here has pretty much come up on the screen. And um, as you can see here, we have all the details from the video. We have... Um, where the thumbnail is, we have uh, we have a small description, a title, the idea of the video, how long it was in seconds, and you'll notice we have everything but the video 
link itself. Now, one thing about uh, YouTube is in the good old days, it used to actually give us those video links, uh, but YouTube did decide after a while to not include those video links as a part of their system, and we'll show you how we get, ar get around that, um, and we account for that issue. Uh, we don't really get around it, but we do account for it, and we allow you to simply um, uh, move forward very quickly on importing your channel. So without much ado, we're going to go over these items. The video ID, that's the ID that, uh, that, Vim, that, uh, excuse me, that YouTube has assigned that video. Uh, we go ahead and use that because that's a good ID and it's very unique. Um, we get the title, we extract that. We distract um, about 300 characters of the description. 300 characters is about all that we figure that you need to add um, in a normal uh streaming system that's a ios app an android app a fire tv or roku app they simply don't support those really really long subscri uh, descriptions like the other platforms so we'd like to you to keep it to about 300 characters so we go ahead and pull your first um your first bit of uh, your intro for you and then we uh, truncate that off about 300 characters um, usually most people put a pretty good summary in their first bit so it's fine. Um, if not, you can go ahead and write your summary here and do a kind of condensation of it. The next thing is we're gonna we're gonna ask you in your channel, in our system, what category would you like to import this under? Now, in this test demo, there's about three categories in this demo channel, but you can have as many categories as you would like. So in this case, we're just gonna leave this and we're gonna put put it into new releases. So the next part is the thumbnail URL. You don't have to do anything about that. We do pull that, that metadata directly from, from YouTube and we um, get that all set up and our system takes care of that for you, including copying the file down to our system and all those good things. So the duration in seconds is also figured out for you, which is something that you don't need to worry about within um, this system because that's already created for you. And now you'll notice that there's an M a video MP4 URL, and you're going you're going to say, well, can't YouTube provide this? Well, YouTube doesn't actually provide that data anymore. Um, you can go to your YouTube um, channel uh, using your web browser, and you can download the video from any video that you've posted. Um, but what we do is we say you can download the video. And, and then we, we let you upload that video through Bunny CDN or Amazon S3 or one of our other uh, CDN storage partners that we use. So in this case, today we're going to go ahead and we're going to browse uh, Bunny CDN. We've already uploaded the video to that. It's just a simple drag and drop. Just open it up in your browser and drop it in. It's very, very easy to, to get that video up there. Once that video is up there, um, also just, just real quick here. Uh, when it says video mp4 URL, it can be anywhere that the video is stored. So um, anywhere you would like to store it, any CDN you'd like to store it, you are not limited to Amazon S3 or Bunny CDN. Those are just two really good options we usually recommend uh, to where you can store these videos. Uh, but you can you can literally store these videos um, on any CDN you would like. We, we just uh, put in the, the larger, more common ones. So we're going to take today, we're going to browse Bunny CDN. We're going to try to find our video. So we come up here with our, um, our standard login screen, which is all filled out. We filled this out for you the first time. You never really use Seth to change it. Um, and then you're going to see our browsing system comes up in, in this window. So what you're going to see is that we have a couple of folders here that we have in our browsing system on, on our storage space. We're just going to select the videos folder and from videos, we're going to select the my video MP4 uh, video because that's the one we've selected for the demo. So now, now we've got everything we've needed. We've linked our video. We have given it a description. We have given it a title. Uh, we have everything we need. And so then we just click the save save button. Just before we leave the screen, there is a small uh, tutorial section here on how to download your video 
uh, from uh, YouTube, just in case you just need to get that video right off of YouTube. Uh, there's a there's a complete instructions here how to download that. Otherwise, if you're like a lot of people, you just store the videos locally that you make. And you can also upload it from there. So our system saves you all the trouble, and I mean all the trouble of getting all this other information. That that data is already put through. So with all this, we're just going to go save, and we're going to just save that. And we've now seen that our video is added. Okay. So. Uh, we notice here that it's also added. And if we go over and see building a live streaming Roku channel, a step-by-step -step guide, we're going to look at our videos, and here it is, building a live streaming Roku channel, a step-by-step -step guide. And there it is. Uh, your YouTube video has been added to your channel within our system. Nice and easy, easy way to, to add that video. So... Um, this is for everyone, and I'm going to um, switch back to a little bit more personal mode here. I'm going to just say that this is for everyone. Our, this system, we created this because we know a lot of people post videos on YouTube. And you don't want to go through the hassle of reposting that all in our system, and we certainly understand that. So we built this import tool to make this very, very simple for you. Just as simple as we could possibly make it. The one thing that YouTube does not allow us to do and to get legally is the URL of the actual video file of the video. Now, you know, YouTube does that for security reasons. Uh, they don't want people going around and pirating other people's videos. So they do make it uh, a little bit challenging and difficult. And they just said, no, we're not going to give you the actual link to the video because we don't want pirating to occur. So they do that for video protection and safety. But um, you can easily upload that to uh, any CDN you have, or like, let's say we usually recommend Bunny CDN for our customers. And then you can simply browse for it, get that video, and link it right in. But it saved you all the trouble of writing descriptions, writing, rewriting the title, uh, re uploading the thumbnail. Our system takes care of all that for you. So, um, just wanted to share that with you today. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel if this has been helpful. And uh, we just want to try to make things, we, we work on, on um, small improvements all the time to try to make things easier for you because we know you're a content creator and we want you to spend most of your time with content, not necessarily just uploading and managing videos for your other uh, channel outlets such as Roku and Fire TV and Android and iOS and Apple TV. So uh, thanks again. And uh, and we hope to see you next time. So please tune in uh, to the podcast real soon uh, for our very next presentation. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, take care.